Hey everybody and welcome back. This video is titled Man Thought He Pulled Doll From Water Until He Heard A Little Squeak. You just know there's gonna be a twist. He takes a closer look and at first, it looked like a bit of algae floating in the water. Then, just as the sun glistened on the calming waves, Angelo realized this was not a fish or algae. It was toes. Actual human toes. Angelo Mondragon lived an ordinary life in a seemingly ordinary town called Rosewood. By day he was a plumber, and by night he was a dedicated dad to his two young children. But this devoted dad had no idea he was about to uncover something truly unimaginable when he went swimming in a lake one warm Saturday in July. Angelo decided to take his family there for the weekend. It would be an excellent way to relax from the bustle of the weekday, or so he thought. They all hopped in the car and drove 25 minutes until they reached the beautiful lake. As they arrived, they saw groups of people enjoying what the lake had to offer, boating, hiking, swimming, and much more. As he turned his car into the parking lot, he could have never have known what was awaiting him in the beautiful clear water. July in Colorado can come with exceptional heat. Fort Collins and its surrounding areas can soar up to 87 degrees Fahrenheit, so of course, everyone was looking for a place where they could cool off. He was not the only one who thought about the intriguing idea to cool off in the lake's water. He was blissfully unaware that there was a scene unfolding beneath the waves. He couldn't have expected what Grizzly Find was waiting for him. Angelo's local lake was gorgeous, boasting crystal blue waters and stunning scenery. It was the perfect place to unwind after a long day. Before we continue, if you like this video, please like or subscribe. We'd greatly appreciate it. Now back to the video. The view was wondrous to behold, and on the day that he decided to visit there with his family, it seemed to be beaming with life. But there were rumors about this lake, and they were rumors that would leave a shiver up your spine. Angelo had lived in Rosewood his entire life. It was a quiet town, and everybody knew everybody's business. Despite this, the people there were friendly folk who would do anything to help their neighbors out. But there was something about this town that plagued its townspeople for years. A myth, you could call it, about the lake, and something terrible that had happened there 30 years ago. You see, an incident took place at the lake 30 years ago where a child went missing while swimming out in the water. Unfortunately, after an extensive search, a body was never found, and as a result, many townspeople claimed the lake has been haunted ever since. Having lived in Rosewood his entire life, Angelo had witnessed the unfortunate tragedy that tore his town in half 30 years ago. He had witnessed the upset it caused and how it had devastated the whole community. Despite this, Angelo never listened to the rumors about the lake. But he should have. Angelo arrived at the lake with his two children and a smile crept across his face. This was going to be a good day, he could just feel it. After sitting up near the edge of the lake, Adam decided to go to the water to cool off. He had no idea what was waiting for him. As Angelo walked towards the shore, sweaty and hot, he could think of nothing better than submerging his body in the cold waters to let his body temperature wind down. As he dipped his feet into the lake, a satisfying sensation went through him, but it would soon be shattered. From there, he slowly entered the water until it covered him waist deep. But a few seconds later, his temperature would rise in such a way it would be difficult to even breathe. With the sun beaming down on his warm skin, Angelo felt good swimming in the lake. He continued to go deeper and deeper out into the water. But as he got further out, he had no idea he was about to uncover something that would leave him feeling sick to his stomach. Angelo was the only one out this deep. He looked toward the shore. He could see his two kids near the edge and they were fine. He noticed that the lake had become packed. It seemed like everyone in the surrounding areas had had the same idea. But Angelo was the only one who was greeted with such an unpleasant surprise. Around 15 minutes had passed and Angelo was still bobbing about in the bright blue water, breathing in the fresh air and nature. As he relaxed in peace, he heard the birds chirp from above. Then suddenly, he felt something brush past his leg. At first, he didn't think too much about it. After all, there must be plenty of fish swimming under the water. But as the object hit him again, this time with more force, it caught his attention. Now, it didn't feel like a fish. It felt like something else. He took a deep breath and got a closer look and uncovered something truly unimaginable. At first, when Angelo looked below it looked like a bit of algae flowing in the water above some rocks. 
Then, just as the sun glistened on the waves, Angelo realized it was an algae. He kicked underwater to bring whatever it was up to the surface. He saw toes. Human toes. He felt sick to his stomach. Just below the water, Angelo saw a tiny foot float up. Confused by the whole situation, it took him several seconds to put two and two together, but when he did, everything was set in motion. He had just discovered the limp body of a little girl. Still alive, but unconscious. Angelo knew what he had to do, but he had to do it fast. He pulled the toddler out of the water and began to scream at the girl's family and anyone who could hear him to call 911. I grabbed her and carried her limp body to the shore, he said. When he reached the edge of the lake, he was met with a paramedic who immediately took the girl away to the hospital. But would she make it? Who even was she? And what was she doing out in the lake by herself? I saw just the bottom of her feet and then right then at that moment that became my child, I reached in and I pulled her out like I would any of my babies, said Angelo. When he reached the edge of the lake, he was met with a paramedic who immediately took the girl away to the hospital. But would she make it? Who was she? And what was she doing out in the lake by herself? The girl was three-year-old Sidali Hernandez who had been swimming in the lake before her accident. She had hypothermia, her lungs were filled with fluid and doctors were worried about how long her brain had been without oxygen. Despite being rescued by Angelo, nobody knew how long she had been under the water. Emma Hernandez got the call she never could have imagined getting. Her daughter's limp body was found underwater. She rushed to be by her side. Angelo's quick thinking had saved Hernandez's daughter. Her lungs are good. Her heartbeat is good. Everything is good, said Hernandez to USA Today after Sidley had been given the okay from her doctors. Emma Hernandez met the man who saved her daughter's life at the hospital where she was recovering. When she saw Angelo, she ran to meet him and could do nothing but cry and express her gratitude. She embraced him and stammered, There are no words, no words, how much I can thank you. Her outpouring to the man who took action and saved her baby girl was truly something to behold. They both knew how it could have all gone so very wrong in an instant had he not been at the lake that day. You saved her, you saved my baby, gasped Emma. Then she told Angelo that someone was waiting for him. That someone was Sidlily. She couldn't wait to see her savior, and as soon as she was well enough, she asked for him. I can't wait to see her. She's part of our family now. You guys are part of our family now, Angelo said emotionally. And when he saw her, his heart was filled with joy to see her sitting up and talking. If I was not in that right spot at the right time, it could have been a search and rescue mission, Angelo told USA Today. It felt like something you normally wouldn't feel in the water, Angelo said in an interview. I did sort of a back kick to bring up whatever it was. Then I saw the bottom of a baby's foot float up. As I told the little girl's mom when I saw the baby's toes, that became my baby. It's apparent the Hernandez family was lucky to have Angelo there that day, but now, Angelo has seen with his own two eyes how incredibly easy it is to have a toddler wander off into the water. And the statistics are frightening. According to the CDC, approximately 10 toddlers drown every day in the United States. But Angelo hopes to change that. The terrifying ordeal at the lake has prompted Angelo to work with local businesses and residents to collect life vests for little ones on beaches. The baby was not wearing a life vest, he said. If she was wearing one, the whole situation could have been different. And, if it wasn't for Angelo's actions that day, who knows what could have happened to Sid Ali. Luckily for her, she had a guardian angel looking after her that day. This had been Angelo's first visit to the lake. And luckily, when he pulled Sid Ali out of the water, there just happened to be two nurses on the beach that day. Angelo and the two off-duty nurses managed to resuscitate Sid Ali while they waited for emergency services to arrive. The stars aligned for the little girl that day, that's why she survived. As tragic as it was, she would have had no chance without that intervention from bystanders, Windsor Severance Fire Rescue Fire Chief Herb Brady said. But, in yet another lucky coincidence for Sid Ali, Tabitha, and Thomas Lang, an emergency room nurse and air nurse, weren't even supposed to be at Windsor Lake that day. Saving the girl was truly just our job, it just happened to be on the beach that day, Tabitha told reporters. And it was extremely lucky that they were there. Tabitha and Thomas Lang had made plans to go up into the mountains that very weekend. However, at the last minute, the couple decided to change their pans and do some paddleboarding on Windsor Lake. 
While Tabitha and Thomas were paddleboarding in the lake, they heard screaming. It wasn't a decision to help, Tabitha said. We went to work. We've worked together for a long time, she said. We didn't have to think about what we were doing. We just did what we normally did. But they weren't the only bystanders who rallied together to prevent the tragedy. As Tabitha and Thomas were performing CPR on Sid Ali and trying to clear her airways, other bystanders on the beach helped control the crowd and made sure there was enough space for emergency personnel could get through. Just before the ambulance arrived, Sid Ali started to breathe on her own. An emergency medical technician scooped Sid Ali up and put her in the ambulance. Maybe it was meant to be that everyone was there to help her, Tabitha said. If someone hadn't found the girl and pulled her out of the water, who knows how long she might have been down there. That's the end of this video. Thank you for watching. As always, if you like this video please like, comment or subscribe and we'll see you in our next video.